Good morning. It is time for us to mix up another batch of our mint lighter pre-plant. I'm going to share the recipe with you and show you how to mix it up. It's really easy to do this. It doesn't require a whole lot. Let's get started. We grow a mint lighter garden and the pre-plant is part of the recipe of growing a mint lighter garden. To make your pre-plant you're going to need lime, you're going to need borax in the form of 20 mule team laundry detergent and you're going to need Epsom salt. You need a small container to measure out the ingredients of the Epsom salt and the borax a scale and something to mix it with. I'm doing this in a lawn cart and I'm going to use a chicken feed scooper that's square to mix everything up. All of this when it is mixed together will fit inside of a single five gallon bucket. Before I get started I'm using lime and the instructions for all of this are in the Midlighter Gardening course book. You can get the book off of Amazon. You can also get it cheaper through the Grow Food website. Go to the shopping area and you can get that book shipped to you for less money than what you can get it through Amazon. Because we receive more than 20 inches of annual rainfall, we have to use lime. If you are in an area less than 20 inches of annual rainfall, you don't want lime, you want gypsum. All right, let me get started. The lime that we get is pelletized. They're pretty good chunks. It'll come in a pellet or you can get it in a powder form. Either one works. You don't want to get the, the lime or the gypsum that is a slow release formula. If it is slow release, hard pass pelletized or powdered, either one of them work. To 40 pounds of lime, you're going to add 8 ounces of borax. And 2 pounds of magnesium sulfate, also known as Epsom salt. And now all you got to do, mix it thoroughly and you're done. One disadvantage to using the pelletized lime is the pellet is a lot larger than the pieces of boron and Epsom salt. As you store this for long-term use, those fine particles are going to settle out to the bottom of your container. Before you use your mint lighter pre-plant, make sure that you mix that up and redistribute the boron and the Epsom salt in with the lime. It is a little full, but All of that will fit into one bucket. This is not like the weekly feed. It won't absorb moisture and become wet and difficult to work with. I have stored this outside for a couple of years and haven't had any problems. I do store in a bucket with a gamma seal lid on it. It is certainly not necessary, but I just like the gamma seal lids. If you're interested in getting your own gamma seal lids for your weekly feed or your mint lighter pre-plant, I'll put a link in the description box for you. It is my wife's Amazon affiliate account, and if you make a purchase through those links, she's going to get some money to buy shoes with. We do have another video where we break down the cost of both the pre-plant and the weekly feed. I'll put an in-screen video link here for you if you're interested in seeing that. And we're going to take this pre-plant and get ready for our winter garden. Videos on our winter garden in the greenhouse will be coming out soon. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.